curious. I mean, your father was a an opera singer, mm-hmm. um, and a and a great opera singer. I did also read that he liked to sing the spirituals. Oh, and he did a fabulous job. I haven't heard anyone sing the spirituals as well as my father. He really knew how to find the dirt and the bones in mm-hmm. the tomb. Those are some of the earliest pieces that I heard. I remember as a kid growing up were the spirituals. Um, my father had the good fortune of being taught how to sing the spirituals by Hall Johnson, whose mm. grandmother was a slave, and, and taught his mother how to sing them correctly. Wow. So he had a genuine feel and understanding of the Negro spiritual and how it was to be sung. My father was a humble man. Uh, he was a fabulous singer, but he was very, very humble, and he used to say, you know, God's given me this gift. He's entrusted me with a talent, was what he used to say. Mm-hmm. And it's my job to take care of it. You know, I want to talk to you about spirituality in your, in your work. And it's a hard thing to talk about. Um, Why? It's in your music. It's hard to put words around. It's hard it to is, put good enough words. That's what I mean. It's around. hard to put good enough words around. Everyone has the spirit. Everyone is spiritual in the sense it's, it's that the spirit is the animating factor of our lives. But the spirituality in your music is embodied, right? It's fleshly, too. Yeah, well, you know, one of the things that I know in 90 minutes of performing on stage or being on stage is that uh, I'm in the battle with the flesh and I'm going to win. <laughs> you know, at the end of, you know, for 90 minutes, I'm victorious. Right. You know. I'm going to win this battle because that's what it's that's what it's all about. You know, singing to me is like singing through the spirit. Mm-hmm.